Rod Boswell. Hi there. So, Rod, what on earth are you doing with this dome thing? What's the plan? What's interesting is that this is the most fun I've had for years and years. It's uh, my company, Boswell Technologies, uh, is one I set up to do consulting. Um, and it's been considered by the government as worthy of uh, help, strangely enough. So I've got 25K to spend. So I thought I should spend it. So this is part of it. And uh, you have to look at how many years you got left and how much you have to spend to sort of come out zero at the end. Uh, so I've decided that this is a really fun thing to do to make a large vacuum vessel and do experiments in it and then allow the public to come and see this. You'll see what it can be like on the surface of the moon. Um, and getting deeper into the problems on the moon, uh, every atom has to be saved. It cannot escape. It, it leaves and that's the end of it. You never see it again. So it is the... T the epitome of the perfect echo uh, closed system. You have to really look after everything. So CO2, you have to work out what to do with that. There are processes they use on the space station called the Sabatier process to get rid of the CO2, turn it into methane, uh, but then they throw that overboard. But that's not the process that you do here on Earth. If you're looking at carbon, you can attempt sequestration, which I have grave doubts about. Or you can just reuse what we have and not make more of it. And making methane, using it to carry hydrogen, and then using that to make methanol as a fuel is something that can be done. And this is something you can use on the moon. You have to think of all of these ways of how do you store energy on the moon? You can't Just have... while we're on that subject, who's seen The Martian? And who knows what my next question is? So, Rod, what about, what about recycling our poop and growing potatoes from it? Are we going to do it? Uh, well, if you're on the moon, yes. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe Tori will have something to say about that later. Some tens of percent of people on, on this planet at present use human excrement to fertilise their fields. So, I mean, it's not a big deal. I, Earth, Zola's Earth, uh, describe the French peasants of doing this and no one would buy their pumpkins because of where they've been. But <laughs> Nice. All right. So what do you hope this will look like in a year? Well, I hope to have our three-metre dome, uh, which um, Matt is going to talk about, up and running. We just saw that in the video. Yep. A, a ver version thereof being made up in Mwilumba. Yep. And hopefully a much larger system of about 12 metres. 12? Yep. Oh, I thought it was eight. Eight or 12. <laughs> Depends if this one collapses or not. Right, OK. So we're uh, trying to test these systems on the Earth before it goes to the moon, actually. So if you can make these on the moon, then you don't have to transport them the same as Mars. Uh, so that's the, that's the game. The certain... Uh, number of people in the US and also in Europe are looking at these processes and it's about time we started to get out and actually do some science on Earth to Moon to Mars. Excellent. A round of applause for Professor Broad Boswell. <laughs> it's his face.